tumble down the rabbit hole into Pandora's Manor, a sprawling colonial revival. Recently restored and reinvented as an upscale bed and breakfast. Meet the roster of A-list designers who've each been given a bedroom as a fresh palette and see how they've worked their magic to bring this home back to life and honor its classic American appeal. Hi, I'm John Lucky. I'm Jason Oliver Nixon, and we're the gents behind Madcap Cottage. John and I are lucky enough to have known Eastern accents for a long time, and Louise has been a good friend. And when they came down and purchased Pandora's Manor, she had teased that maybe we would be involved in the mix. John and I are, are partners in business and in life, and we'll find ourselves going out to dinner sometimes, and we're sitting there talking about wallpaper and budgets, and we have to reel it back in and talk about other things than just business. But I think we're a really good partnership. I think we both have different strengths that we bring to the table. We both have a similar design sensibility, and we both have a similar sense of design history and everything we do kind of relates back to kind of old school, very traditional. We love that idea of taking a historic structure and giving it new life and it was coming up with that storyline, that magic that would take our room, make it feel true to the house, but move that storyline forward. Well, we wanted guests to walk away with, wow, I have a, an appreciation of pattern, I have an appreciation of prints, I have an appreciation of color, that I think in this world it's so beige and linen and neutrals that we wanted guests to come in and they would walk in the door and they would just, their faces would light up and they would walk away from this experience and maybe start changing out the furnishings and the accessories in their own home. What we've found working with clients over the years is that most people want to embrace pattern and color in some way, but they don't know how. And I think what we really tried to do with this room was show you that you can incorporate pattern and you can incorporate color into a space, but not have it be completely overwhelming. I think that upholstered walls brings that cozy, residential cocoon experience to life. Upholstered walls are something that in the history of design have, you know, you go way back to, um, you know, to Europe in the 1700s, 1600s. It was something that was done for practical reasons. We're all about layering when we create a room and it's again such an inherent part of that storyline and it's how do you take the walls and build in. You're having that wonderful woven rug as a contrast to the upholstered walls, the texture upon the window treatments and having that scale and the height and those little moments of, of fun. You kind of, every time you come into the room you see something different, you kind of take things in in different ways and I think that really makes the space more special. I think one of the really interesting things we did with the room was that there is no television that's immediately visible. The television is a mirror over the fireplace. It's a company called Sura out of Wisconsin and they create these televisions that are, when they're not on, you have they look like a mirror, they look like a piece of artwork. You have no idea that it is a television. Having a space where the television isn't the first thing you see when you walk in the room is so refreshing and so nice and comforting. A bad bathroom can really make or break your hotel experience, so we wanted to create a bathroom that really felt magical and connected the dots between the room and the, and the bath and that dialogue and conversation. We made sure to have a great mirror that pivots so that whether you're six feet two or you're five feet six, Six. Great lighting, we have terrific sconces, we did custom lampshades in our madcap cottage for Robert Allen at Home Collection, but it gives you enough light that you're putting makeup on, you're blow drying your hair, all of those functionality things are ticked off the boxes. Pandora's Manor is not only exceptional for High Point, but exceptional for the world. 
this is a vibrant town and to have something like Pandora's Manor with Eastern accents coming in and making such an investment and creating something that doesn't exist in London, doesn't exist in Paris, doesn't exist in India, it exists only in High Point is exceptional.